Hello, Adalo makers. Uh, today we're going to go over the responsive sidebar navigation. Uh, and this is a really, really, really powerful component that you can use in your responsive apps, mainly because it does all of the menu switching for you. And what I mean by this is that when your users change their screen size, or no matter what device they are on, uh, the side nav menu will respond accordingly, right? So as I'm on desktop, you can see it's a fully open menu. As I get down into tablet view, it reduces down to kind of these, uh, just the icons here um, with a, the little uh, profile picture or whatever it is that you want to put down here. Um, and even when I go onto mobile view, you can see that the top transitions to this nice uh, top navigation bar up here. And I've got a nice little hamburger menu that I can use to uh, open up that menu to see all of the different options that are in there. So let, let's expand this and uh, we can take a, a little bit deeper look at what this thing does and how we can uh, uh, customize it. So if you don't already have the side navigation installed, you can actually go to the plus sign here and just type in side nav and it should pop up right here. Um, and you can just click and drag that onto the left side of your menu. And when you open it up, there's uh, a couple of different uh, drop downs here that you can enable. Uh, these menu items obviously are you know, probably the most obvious here. This is where you can add different options to this menu. Um, I've got, you know, item menu um, or menu item five and six turned off, um, but you can certainly turn those on if you like. Um, we've got a bottom button down here, uh, which is turned on. That's this little upgrade button that I've got. I think it makes it uh, really easy to add, uh, you know, a call to action for people to subscribe to your service or whatever to your app. Um, and then we've got this profile section down here at the bottom where we can select, you know, okay, what, what image is it pulling? Uh, the image rounding, you know, all your typical kind of expected customization features that you would have for text and images and the, those sorts of things, all right? Uh, we can even enable a little divider here. There's tons and tons of customizable uh, options here, um, and we can even add click actions to these as well, all right? So that's the menu items. Let's dive into the side nav title and menu styling here. Uh, under menu styling, we've got some, uh, again, a, a, a plethora of options uh, to choose from. Uh, we've got, you know, active background rounding. Uh, you know, uh, uh, we've basically got menu item spacing. Uh, we can add dividers to these if we want to add dividers in between them. We can change what, uh, you know, what the color of the menu item is when it's clicked and active, like in this case here. Uh, what, you know, what's the color of the inactive item? Um, we can even set which one is the active menu item, uh, which in this case is menu item one. But if I wanted it to be collaborators for this screen, I could just change it to menu item three. And boom, we've got our green uh, selection there. All right. And then in the title section, you can either make this a logo or text. Uh, so I've got this set as a logo, this know-how logo here. Um, and you can even add a separate logo for when it uh, goes down into that smaller menu, right? So currently, if you click on this and you scale this down, you can see it's just using the same logo here. And same thing with the smaller one. It's giving us the kind of the, the bigger logo here. But if I wanted to have like a small logo, like maybe just the little plant there, uh, I could upload a, a separate logo uh, from, the, uh, from, from that main one there, all right? Um, so that's kind of the title section. Again, there's lots of different uh, customizable options here, how, how to align it, um, all that sort of stuff, image size, what have you. Um, and then the most important part of this is this side navigation. And this is going to tell Adalo how you want the side navigation component to uh, perform uh, on native. So on desktop, I want it to show this medium side menu, which is this, this thing that's, that it's showing here. Uh, on tablet, I've selected that I want it to show the small side menu, which is that small one that we saw uh, just a second ago. Uh, there, there we go. This one right here. This is the small side menu. And then for the for the mobile view, uh, we've got that, again, that option for that top bar there uh, as the, the, the mobile. Now, I could certainly go in and, you know, change this and, uh, you know, make it top bar on tablet and on mobile if I wanted to. Um, but, uh, you know, I think uh, me personally, I like the small side menu on tablet 
as well. Um, I can even create a top offset. And this is extremely useful for uh, if you're also using the top navigation component. Uh, you can actually put the top navigation over the top of this one um, and kind of have both going on, right? A side menu and a top nav at the same time. Um, and so that's really helpful having that top offset there, right? We've got this option for when the top menu bar is open. So when that top menu is, is shown on mobile or on smaller screen sizes, uh, what happens when they click on that little hamburger icon? Uh, it's going to show a, either a dark overlay or a light overlay on top of everything that's on the screen, right? Um, and again, you can change the menu icons, the menu icon coloring, all that sort of stuff there uh, as well. Border shadows, uh, the whole gamut of options. All right, so that's the side navigation component. Makes it really easy to kind of bootstrap these menus for your apps that are both responsive. They look great. There's plenty of options available to literally make this you know look and function however you need it to.